What's going on there, folks? Just in time for spring. The birds are chirping. The grass is growing and the flowers are blooming. What could be better than a brushless, cordless mower from Harbor Freight to start your spring season? All right, Atlas finally hitting the stores. This is in Sacramento, California. Thank you, Flav. Flav Nisco. All right. Now, they're going to have two different types of mowers, all right? They're going to have a push mower and a self-propelled. Um, as you can see, hopefully, you see two prices here. Uh, $249, and then you see $319. All right, $319 is the self-propelled, and $249 is the push mower. Um, you know, I mean, listen, when you look at Ryobi, all right, Again, I don't know what the warranty is on this stuff. Um, but, you know, you're getting 80 minutes of runtime. Now, this is a 80-volt platform, all right? Um, so, it's a big battery, and that'll give you, obviously, really good runtime. Um, you know, it, it's it's right up there with Ryobi is what I'm, you know, trying to say. Now, obviously, we know Home Depot really puts these Ryobi leftover mowers on sale, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the lowest we saw was $149, okay, for the kit. Now, a lot of prices are $199, and I think that's really what they have to do, Home Depot, is they can't sell any of last year's mowers this year for the regular price. All right. So you notice that with Ego, too. So we saw Egos down to $199 with the five amp hour battery obviously they're 56 volt they got a brand new mower out now but they're still going to have that base mower right that 399 mower with the five but if it was last year's mower they can't sell it this year for 399 they have to discount it so you know at regular price i believe the ryobi push mower is 299 and their self-propelled is three ninety nine. All right, so obviously this Atlas is going to be fifty dollars cheaper. Um, the push mower and the self-propelled is going to be around eighty dollars cheaper than the Ryobi. All right, obviously you add the Ego, right? Their push mower is three ninety nine, so you're looking at a hundred and fifty dollar difference between this Atlas and the Ego. And I'm just bringing up the two common, most popular mowers. Obviously, there's Cobalt. Looks like that Craftsman 60-volt platform is already done. Um, you know, it's not confirmed, but we were just at Lowe's the other day, and they don't have one thing ready for the spring. Um, hopefully, we'll find out some more information on that. Real shame, because let me tell you, you know, wasn't a big fan of, uh, but I don't want to say big because I, I didn't, use the blower or the weed whacker, but you know how I feel with those big batteries on, you know, weed whackers and blowers, you know, sure it worked fine, but the, the lawnmower was one of the best lawnmowers that I've ever used. And again, when you see a $599 lawnmower go down and this was last, this was like around September, they started really cutting the prices on this uh, craftsman 60 volt stuff. You know, go from five ninety nine to two twenty nine for the self propelled, and you know four ninety nine or whatever the, the push mower was down to one hundred and seventy nine bucks. You know something's up, right? And weed whackers that were two forty nine going for sixty nine bucks. But anyway, so this is the new Atlas platform again. Here's another picture. Now this is all the tools that we're gonna have in the line. All right, it's gonna be a forty volt and an 80 volt all right so very smart by them i i can't say enough um there's these companies are starting to kind of think a little bit and that's what's good um you know they're offering an 80 volt trimmer that's fine but if you notice they have the 40 volt the hand tools that you're going to use that really need to be on the lighter side once one being the hedge trimmer and that's a 24 inch actually um you know there's no reason to get the 80 volt string trimmer 
you ask me. Because for one, it's probably going to cost more money. Two, you're not gaining anything because they're both 16 inch. Unless I can't read it. Maybe it's 15 and 16. Yeah, all right. There is an inch difference, but that don't mean nothing if you ask me personally. But And if, if you want the 80 volt, go, go crazy. But um, the pole saw too. It actually, the pole saw, yeah, no, I think they did it right, man. They, they nailed it. And they're doing a, a 10 inch pole saw, which is good. Um, but very smart by uh, Harbor Freight. Again, they're, you know, using the lighter tools that you need really light. They're keeping that at the 40 volt. Again, the hedge trimmer, the weed whacker. They got a, looks like a smaller, they got a 16 inch chainsaw that's going to be run on a 40 volt battery. And they're going to have a brushless blower that's also a 40 volt. All right. Um, but they're also going to have a 80 volt blower. They're also going to have an 18 inch chainsaw. All right. I'm real excited for this, guys. I love this new out. out I love OPE stuff. It's absolutely amazing. You know, we're getting to that point now. And you always hear me talk about it. People, it's hard for me, obviously, unless you're cutting lawns professionally. You know, uh, you know, you have your own lawn care company, landscape, hardscapes, whatever. You know, you're just a regular DIY weekend warrior it's really hard to recommend cast mowers now there's there's really no advantage to them i, I can't think of one anymore because these these brushless lithium ion lawn mowers perform very well um you don't got to worry about gas and carburetors and oil and the smell and the loud noise and um it's just a, a pro um for the homeowner now, you know, you don't have to store gas and it's, it's, it's absolutely great. So really excited here, guys. Um, you know, for Harbor Freight, again, we know they stepped up and I don't know how great it's doing. They're selling the icon stuff. They're kind of moving up the ladder here. Um, I think they had something called links. I don't know if they're still going to sell that. They should, if you want my opinion. Um, this is a pretty big chain now, Harbor Freight. They're growing very rapidly. Um, you know, you got to offer some cheaper stuff, right? Kind of have a bargain platform, which should be the link stuff. And then you got this Atlas stuff, um, a little bit more, you know, performance driven and a little bit, a little bit premium of a, of a platform here, but, um, great to see. Really great to see. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, again, I like how they're splitting it up, 40 volt and 80 volt. Um, Heart is kind of doing that too, right? They're going to have some 20 volt OPE stuff, and then they're going to have some 40 volt OPE stuff. Um, looks like Harbor Freight's not messing around too much here. You know, they're going right to the 80, which is great for the lawnmower, for the lawnmowers and the chainsaw. A, you know, the blower, we're going to have to see um, what the runtime and the performance is. That thing probably going to have close to 600 CFM, um, you want my opinion. And again, you don't really need that much. You know, that, that that's the thing with, with these lithium ion blowers. You know, they're, you know, it, you're using them for very light duty stuff you're moving them for like grass clippings and maybe clearing off your deck clearing the driveway maybe some light leaves but you know you're really not going to use the lithium i mean you know you got to have you got to be smart here so i don't think the added weight of using this the extra cost i mean if this 40 volt does you know 480 to 500 cfm and it's a hundred dollars cheaper i would go with that one I mean, again, you know, if you got a lot of leaves on your property, you're, you're, you're going to use a backpack blower. Let's be honest. We're not at that point where, you know, we got a lithium ion blower that's pushing 800, 900 CFM. Once that happens, you know, then we can talk about it, but we're not there yet. So I'll be looking for this, guys. I'm excited. Again, this is out in Sacramento. Um, should be coming to a store near you at some point. Um, but 
stuff's already in stores, getting ready. They're releasing it really at a good time. Um, so a little bit cheaper than Ryobi. Um, not saying the qua I, I haven't seen any of this stuff yet. Hopefully we can get our hands on one of these. Um, but we'll we'll test it out. We'll try it. But cheaper than Ryobi, much cheaper than Ego. Um, you're looking at probably 25% less on the man, probably more than that with, with the ego stuff. But you're gonna save 50 bucks against Ryobi. But again, like I said in the beginning, you can really get really good discounts on the Ryobi right now if there's any old models in your store. But um, and this might go cheaper too. I don't know if, if you're gonna be able to use the coupons on this stuff. My honest opinion is, you know, you're not gonna be able to now a couple times a year they might have a 10% off, no exclusions, then you can kind of go crazy with it and maybe wait to get this stuff you know because then you'll get this stuff a much cheap you know 250 down to 225 and they might run deals you know you know the way harbor freight is they're all the same so atlas ope 40 volt and 80 volt tools are ready to go we'll catch you on the flip